I'm going to tell you a story about how I came to know a certain man, about the course we traveled to find us, about how we never realized there was a course. But this isn't the story you've heard before, because sometimes it isn't the man who seeks the woman or the woman who seeks the man. Sometimes to truly understand how things happen, we must first learn what doesn't. I had just arrived at the station. My coworker and I used to use this as a meet area to call pool to work, a two hour commute. But she was late that day because she had failed to wake up to her first alarm. Meanwhile, the man I'd never met had just come into work because the regular morning shift had called in. My friend being late, I thought in that time to ask for practical directions to a city I'd long been meaning to road trip to. He instead directed me to another and whom he had great respect. A good friend whom he owed for helping him as a wingman to find his now wife. He possessed knowledge concerning all sorts of routes, as well as the capacity for good conversation. In all the moments, we're forced to keep our schedules. There's always one, in which we find we have a small window to look out. And for a moment, we saw each other through it. But it was not to be. We all have our own lives to press us along. And what you saw before at the start was only what I hoped might happen. After we arrived at the office, we discovered that the meeting had been cancelled by the CEO due to an unexpected complication. Now, had things continued happening on their natural course, the man I'd met would have found a taxi home. I would have driven back home with my friend, and what I hoped might happen remained only a thought. As it turned out, the man from the station had failed to hail a taxi in time, forcing him to walk home. My friend was stopped by a secretary, who had quite a few papers for her to look over, having not the inclination to look over them all herself. My friend would take the company car later, while I'd drive back alone, and because I'd be alone, would take a scenic road I used to know when I was nine. And if just one of those things had happened differently, had that secretary completed her work beforehand? Had he hailed a taxi in time? Had our CEO not canceled the meeting? Had that man not been there for his friend? Had the morning shift come into work? Or had my coworker awoke into her first alarm and met me on time? I would have gone to work as usual, and the man I met would have enjoyed a restful morning. What you saw was indeed only what I'd hoped might happen. But sometimes, that hope could be real.